Nola Gent here, and in this episode, Coco's Italian Market in Nashville, Tennessee. Welcome to Nola Gent. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our Nashville Travel Vlog, you are invited to a Nashville lunch with me at Coco's Italian Market and Restaurant. We are looking for the top food of Nashville restaurants that are must-eats as they have some of the top food Tennessee offers and we are looking for the best eats Nashville has to offer. This is my first visit to Coco's Italian Market in Nashville today, but I have eaten Coco's food before at Cafe Coco, which is located in Midtown Nashville, which was recently sold by the owners of Coco's Market to some Canadians who plan on keeping many things the same. But I really have been a big fan of Cafe Coco for many years and I am concerned about where the new owners will be taking the place. So we are looking for where to eat in Nashville for the best food to eat in Nashville. When looking for Italian restaurants in Nashville, Coco's Italian Market always makes the top restaurant review videos for the best options for authentic Italian food in a Nashville restaurant. For a food tour of Nashville, you really should add Coco's Market to your Nashville restaurants tour. Ask people in Nashville where to eat and many will tell you to try Coco's Market as it is one of the most popular Nashville restaurants for the best food Nashville offers for authentic Italian food. So let's just go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. So immediately on entering you are just overwhelmed with so many delicious and amazing things. Look at these fantastic chocolate bonbons. Whoa, these look amazing. I think I would uh, like a few of each right now. They look so beautiful and delicious. Whoa, there's so many good things in here. There is a lot of delicious looking gelato right here. Ho, 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 ho. And then all sorts of deli meats and cheeses. Then a baked goods display over here with all kinds of nice dessert options like cookies and breads and all sorts of pastries and treats. Ooh. Then wine. We can never have enough wine. They have uh, a lovely assortment of all sorts of wines here. A great selection for our indulgence in that area and then the shelves are stacked with a amazing assortment of all manner of Italian delicacies. So they really do have a fantastic Italian market with all of the Italian items that you would think you needed and some you didn't even know you needed. They have a great selection of refrigerated entrees that you could reheat and have some food at your home later, which is a very convenient thing for planning. And then just all sorts of great sauces and pastas and spices and herbs and ooh, everything you need to put together a fantastic Italian meal. Look at all these wonderful things. Wow, such an amazing selection in here of so many delicious items and some uh, additional cooking and accoutrements to help you prepare all of these items. They even have some t-shirts and socks here and they have their meat and cheese selection up here on the board if you need to order anything. And then certainly they have a lot of delicious looking things to choose from. And then they have a kitchen here working in the back at the deli counter. And then I think I'm gonna get myself a gelato and a cannoli because they do look so delicious. They have some amazing flavor selections here and it's so beautiful. Then they have all kinds of different specials that they advertise all around the register. And this really interesting looking pizza special. I've never had the pizza, so I'll have to try that at some future visit. So wow, looking around, this place really packs a lot into not a large area. They also have a restaurant in the back, but the front part here is all market and they really have quite an amazing selection for the space that they have here. Okay, here's my cannoli and my gelato. Oh, it looks so delicious. 
So I'm up at the cash register waiting to pay and looking around and my total was $5.74 for my gelato, my cannoli, and a coffee. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Blackberry gelato, yeah. Mmm, it's really good. So nice. Mmm. 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 So much flavor. Wow. This blackberry gelato might be the best blackberry gelato I've ever had. Mmm. <laughs> oh. Mmm. Very nice. Hot out here, it's melting fast. I have to eat it quickly. Mm. Mm. This is good stuff. Wow, this cannoli is uh, super overstuffed. Whoa, this is uh, very flavorful. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's really good cannoli. It's gotta have more. Oh, so good. Just go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, like I've got the chocolate on my thumb, and I'd really appreciate it if you'd smash that subscribe button too, just like I smashed that chocolate on my thumb. Yum, yum, yum. Good stuff here. A little coffee at a beautiful Italian restaurant. Bella, bella. Ah. They really do have a fantastic outdoor area here with a bocce ball court, so you can have a little fun with that. I'll let you read the rules here on your own if you've never played before. So it is a fun game and you should play if you get a chance. And then the bocce court here is quite a nice venue for a nice day. Here's the balls that you play with. And it appears that they have a, a league that you could possibly be involved with. So this is a fun game. Now being from New Orleans, I never like seeing a sign like this. The no alcohol beyond this point is always ridiculous. But we're going to eat some uh, lunch in here now, also on a second visit after the first visit that I had. And I'm ready to try some of the restaurant food here. And they have some amazing looking desserts on display. So they have a really nice restaurant area here and there's even another patio area that makes it even larger on the outside there as well. So we got our menus and there is a little story about the family that owns this restaurant and uh, you can read that on your own but just to sum it up, they hail from New York and are from a family of Italians that own a lot of restaurants in New York and they moved to Nashville to bring us some Italian food. Now uh, being from New Orleans, most of our Italians are really Sicilian, so I might have a slight preference for the Sicilians just from that. Then on the next page, we have appetizers with bruschetta, antipasto plate, zuppa di cosa, fried cheese ravioli, manast, fried calamari, fried cheese wedges, caprese, homemade burrata cheese, and ensaladas. And then we have our panini with an Americano, a Lucia, chicken pepper melt, an eggplant or chicken parmesan, a caprese, a formaggio, then our subs, muffalata, sausage and peppers, Italian beef, meatball sub, torpedo, Italian, and vigiante. Then on the next page we have house specialties with 
Penne al fresco, fettuccine polo pesto, tortellini Elliston, bolognese, seafood arrabbiata, creamy chicken marsala, Tuscan rustica, cheese manicotti, cheese ravioli, cheese ravioli fungi, and cheese ravioli olio. Then we have the egg ziti, Sennelli's Parmesan, lasagna bolognese, vegetarian lasagna, fettuccine and meatballs, fettuccine alfredo, and then lemon caper trout, sirloin steak, tempano. Then there's the pizza selection menu here with a lot of good choices. Then we have our Italian desserts with tiramisu, cannoli, gelato, lemoncello marscapone cake, Italian lemon berry cream cake, affregato, then we have cookies and cream cheesecake, chocolate eruption, hot fudge sundae cheesecake, Lady Godiva cheesecake, New York towering cheesecake, and then Bavanda drinks, and then some specialty espresso drinks, and then there's a brunch menu, and I'll let you take a look at that on your own. And here is my order. I got a veal parmesan, so it looks pretty nice, and it came with a nice slice of bread, so let's taste it and see how it is. It's got some amazing steam coming off of it, so it's all good and hot. The cheese is all nice and ooey gooey. So let's take a bite and see how it tastes. Well, the crust is not as crisp as I would like it. It is a uh, much more moist crust than I would prefer. So it's not staying on that well. It's a uh, little well, piece of it just fell off right there. So I definitely have had much better Ville Parmesan, um, so this is not my favorite thing. The pasta now, let's taste that. The pasta is done well. I've had the pasta, especially the lasagna, many times at Cafe Coco, so I know they can do a really excellent uh, lasagna. So if you like a really great lasagna, just go ahead and smash that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and I'd really appreciate it. And we'll continue on our feast here with some more of the veal. And the crust just really is not staying on, as you can see from that. It's uh, definitely not my favorite uh, veal entree I've had. So I would probably suggest getting some of the other items instead of the veal. Um, I've never really known Nashville to be a big veal uh, city anyway. In New Orleans, we have lots of veal available on the menus. And uh, most of the Sicilian slash Italian restaurants, almost all are Sicilian in New Orleans, do really good veal dishes. So that's something that uh, does not seem very common in a lot of other places these days, but I do love a good cut of veal, especially some veal griots and grits, as it is my favorite brunch dish. So all the other pasta dishes I've ever had over at Cafe Coco have been fantastic. This pasta is really great. So um, it is COVID-19 time as well, so we'll give a little leeway, certainly. They maybe didn't have the right person in the kitchen that knew how to prepare this properly during the situation, because I know good help is definitely hard to find in every other dish I've ever had. And the pass from Cafe Coco was fantastic. And those were the same folks that do the food here back then. We'll see what happens with the new owners of Cafe Coco though. So overall though, I still enjoyed my meal and it was uh, more than I could finish all the way. So I had a little bread left over, but of course I got some gelato because I need to leave room for dessert, right? And they do have amazing gelato here. Oh yes. So this gelato is amazing and uh, it's quite a generous serving. This is a one scoop of gelato that I would say at most other places would be at least two or three. And then this. Here we have the chocolate eruption, which is pieces of chocolate brownie cheesecake inside of chocolate mousse topped with chocolate shavings and silvered almonds and a drizzle of chocolate syrup. I didn't have enough room to eat that. I got it to eat later, but I did eat it later that night in the hotel room and it was fantastic. So my bill total was $26.21 before tip. So this was a great time with good food, good times, and good people. And you should try this place out if you're ever in Nashville. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there, 
and subscribe to the Nola Jet channel. It would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.